initial joy of living in Spain, the sunshine, the excitement and all the rest of it, then I started to get a little bit mm, bored. Suddenly you're retired and it's like, okay, well I'll go and walk the dog again. Yeah, okay, well I'll do a bit of gardening. One of my great friends was a lady that had a tack shop. She said, well, all right, Susan, why don't you have a tack shop? That's what I done. I opened up a tack shop and it was called Easy Horse Care. We started to hear stories from so many people about horses being abused, donkeys being abused, etc, etc. I was getting increasingly agitated. I suddenly realised, my God, there's, there's horses everywhere, which you wouldn't even realise because there's no grazing. So people tend to shut them away in barns, falling down houses. We were called out one day to deliver some rubber batting to some people that had a stable in El Campea. There was this young horse throwing himself against the bars in an indoor stable all he had to look out of through his bars was a wall the flies were going at his eye the eye was rotten this horse was just absolutely crazy what on earth is this horse doing like this and basically we were told that the owner had gone we, we since found out he'd been put in prison and basically nobody wanted him he was considered wild, uncontrollable, and the guy that had the livery yard was going to sell him for horse meat. That really was the turning point in our life. I think me and Rod looked at each other at that stage, and I think we both kind of thought, we've got to do it. Suddenly, when we said, do you know what, we'll have him, we're going to start a rescue centre, the people there all got on board, they fundraised throughout El Campeo and they actually raised the money to have him castrated, to have his eye removed. The day came when we went to collect him and for whatever reason we were late and we had a phone call from one of the people, you're late, you're late, they've sedated him, they've got him tied up, you've got to come soon, the sedation will wear off and they had this horse tied either side between two metal posts and there was a, a huge group of people had all turned up because nobody thought I'd ever get him in the trailer and I just said to Rod give me some treats give me some horse treats when he had to walk past all the crowds he suddenly lost it and he broke free and he ran round the back of the stables I got this horse round the corner away from everyone I gave him another couple of treats and I had a little chat with him and I said come on you're gonna do this it was one of the most another amazing moment in my life this horse just done it and he walked in the trailer he's done it we done it didn't we lucy